tie a pretty cool little fly tail here. It's a tail that will give the fly a lot of action. This is the, uh, the fly that we'll tie, uh, but at first we're going to show you how to tie this actual tail here. It's pretty cool. It's, uh, it's going to have a lot of movement. It's going to have a cool color scheme to it so you can mix and match colors, but a uh, very neat little technique that you can add to several, if not all, fly patterns where you want to have a, uh, a tail that has a lot of up and down vertical movement. So the first thing we're going to do here is get a normal paper clip, preferably a thin wire. I'm just going to go ahead and secure that in the vise. And then we're going to attach our thread. Just a couple of loose wraps really is all we need, two or three wraps. I'm going to do it on a, uh, it's a product called Pearl Core and it's a uh, chenille base product. It looks like it's maybe a vernial or a chenille wrapped with a uh, diamond braid for the sparkle effect. but. You get that core with some substance, substance to it that you can tie onto. I've tried it on mono, where you just try to tie this tail on a piece of mono, on uh, different types of flash material, and nothing seems to hold very well. Where as this core material actually gives you something to tie into. So out of all the materials I've worked with trying to tie this tail, this uh, it's called pearl core. And it comes in, you know, olive, chartreuse, green. I mean, it comes in a variety of colors, but certainly the uh, the product is is the best I've seen for tying this tail. Next, we're going to take a piece of crosscut rabbit. Um, I just like this color combination of this tan and chartreuse, but you can mix and match. But the easiest way to work with this is just to roll the hide or the leather portion, kind of over itself to form a little ball so to speak so that all the hair is on one side and all the leather or the hide is on the other side so we've got all this hair we're gonna trim off that hide portion and all we're left with now is just the actual fibers of the uh, crosscut real supple material is gonna have a lot of movement along with the tail itself try not to transfer materials too often from hand to hand but unfortunately in this case there's really not any way to avoid it all I'm gonna do is actually work with this cross-cut rabbit very similar to how I would deer hair and then I'm gonna kinda spin it and I'm just gonna basically allow it to spin it, you don't want to be manipulating the hair too much. Certainly it'll get out of whack and it'll make it hard to, to work with. But by putting it on the on that pearl core and just spinning it, you can get it to cover all the sides. Now I'm going to come back and just trim off some of this excess hair. Obviously we want to be careful not to uh, trim the uh, core material there that's the base of our tail but we want to remove all this excess we don't want to build up too much of a bump on the th tail there with the thread so now that we've got most of that hair removed we can just come back now and just wrap over the hair we're not really trying to tie it down we're just making loose wraps and basically we're going to come back and just put a couple of whip finishes in this Cut the thread, and we're all done. So basically, the tail's finished. Just want to base. You want to try and just twist it ever so slightly as you slide it off of that paper clip. You don't want to just yank it because chances are you could pull the thread off with it. So if you just kind of slide it, you'll basically see that we have this uh, tail done. So it's all finished. The one thing we have to do now is kind of put some glue on it. I prefer the uh, Zappagap CA, uh, the thinner, more it's more liquid, and you want to basically start at the base where it attaches to the pearl core, so it it gets a good grip on it there, and be careful not to use too much because the uh, the uh, Zappagap will 
absorb up into the hair and you'll actually harden the hair material which we're trying not to do so you know just right where the thread touches down at the, uh, the core material and we're pretty much done there so I've got this one tied up just now so that one's a chartreuse and, and brown here's a little variation where you got a little orange thread to give it a little more coloration you can do a uh, kind of a white and chartreuse color scheme but the, the idea with the tail is just to give the fly some added movement so with this particular fly which we're going to tie next you can see that this this kicking and, and undulating movement created from this tail is going to give this fly a lot of movement so some to play with but basically that's the tail and we will get to the video of the fly next